Number 61. Complete the changes in concentrations or pressure, if requested, for each of the following reactions. And then we have this balanced equation over here. So we have to find out the change in concentration of 2H2 gas plus O2 gas, which comes to equilibrium with 2H2O gas. So we have to start with what we're given. They told us that the, the water vapor, right, the H2O gas, is increasing by a factor of 2X. This plus sign means that it's increasing. And if this product is increasing, what do you think is going to happen to the reactants? Yeah, if the product is increasing, the reactants have to decrease. You can't have the whole system increasing or the whole system decreasing. So one's going up, the other one's coming down. How do we represent something is decreasing? We represent it as negative values. So the H2 would be a negative and the O2 would also be a negative. But now what is it going to be decreasing by? That goes by the coefficients. There was a 2 in front of the H2. There was nothing in front of the O2. Remember, that just means that there's one of them. And then there's a 2 in front of the H2O. Now look here. There was two H2Os. I'm going up by a factor of 2x. So this number is your coefficient value. So let's do it for this one. This would be dropping or decreasing by 2x. Maybe I'll do that in black. Same thing for this one now. There's a 1 here, so this would be minusing by 1x. But remember, minusing by 1x is the same thing as just saying an x value. So this is now done. Now we just got to figure out what the actual number is. Well, they told us that 2x collectively equaled 1.50 molarity. Now notice here, this was plus 2x, and this is minus 2x. So it seems like the total amount for H2 gas would be the same for the H2O gas, but just a negative value, because they have the same ratio. It's a 2 to 2 ratio, aka a 1 to 1 ratio. So this would be decreasing by 1.50 molarity. Now we just got to figure out what this one is. Well, it's not going to be the same as 1.50 because the ratio is not the same. But I can basically solve for what x is, and then I know what x is and I can plug it in. So if they said that 2x collectively equals 1.50, I can solve for x by just dividing by 2. I divide by 2 on both sides, and I get 0.750. And I think I just want to double check. I'm, I'm, I'm like 100%. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Sometimes you just got to check, right? Now, since we know the x value is 0.75, let's go and fill it in. So this would be minus 1x, and we just found out that x was 0 0.750, so minus 0 0.750 molarity. And there you go. Easy as that. Remember, guys, we do not know the initial concentration or the equilibrium concentration. All we know is that these are decreasing by the amount given. And this is increasing. I like to put a plus here. This is increasing by that amount. Okay. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you want to. That will help the channel out. Thank you so much. We're almost at 15,000 subs. So let's keep going, all right? And we wouldn't be here without you guys. So thank you. I will see you all later and have a great day. Bye-bye.